Okay, we have a few nice days ahead, but today it's going to be a little windy. A little bit windy. A few areas. So. Heavy spray day from Mountain Home into the Magic Valley. <laughs> Grab the, the Magic hairspray. Valley. Again with the hairspray. <laughs> Just slop it on if you're living in the Magic Valley. Heavy spray day. Okay. And we have a special event besides the first day of uh, spring on Friday. We also have a solar eclipse coming up on Friday. That's where the moon positions itself between the Earth and the sun. And the... Mm. Uh, well, it's going to be most affected way away from the United States. Total <laughs> eclipse there in that area in the gray. But the interesting thing is, and this is something I didn't even think about, uh, the European power grid, they're really concerned because of the uh, loss of solar power generation during the eclipse. Huh. Oh. It's going no to kidding. block 85% of the sun. And uh, that's the equivalent of eight to 10 very large coal power plants or 35,000 <laughs> megawatts. Wow. And they're kind of concerned that the power grid will be uh, uh, disrupted. Don't they have wow. reserve power? You would think. I'm sure they. <laughs> but that's the downside of relying on solar power, yeah, I guess. Is. Yeah, is that yeah. crazy? Yeah. I don't know. Wouldn't even have thought of that. Foreseen unintended consequences. Yeah. Breezy but nice for today. Some warm temperatures coming our way Friday and some cooler weather on Saturday and some more clouds. Here is a look outside. We have clear skies for the most part out there or a few high thin clouds, but generally this is the trend for the, for the skies to clear up. 41 degrees, winds are calm, humidity at 79%. The feels like temperature 41. 41 degrees in Boise, we have 30 degrees in McCall, 34 in Stanley, 32 in Haley and Baker City also at, right at the freezing mark. Most locations here in the Snake River Plain are in the 40s. Here's a look at our satellite map. We have a low pressure system just off the Aleutian Island chain. We have a nice fetch of moisture stretching around that. That eventually will affect our weather, but it won't be until Saturday. We did have a pretty good fetch of moisture. At one time, this stuff stretched all the way out to the Hawaiian Islands and then it moved to the east. Now it's exiting the state. We still have some lingering cloud cover up there in the northern Idaho panhandle. Here's our satellite and radar. A few lingering clouds, mainly to the north of us, and uh, no precipitation showing up. We did have some earlier over the Wahi Mountains, but that was our last vestiges of any precip. Here's our future cast. This is uh, later on this afternoon. We'll see some high clouds, but even those will just kind of melt away by early Thursday morning. As we head through Thursday, clouds will be pretty scarce. Just some passing clouds. Uh, to the north and to the northwest. Other than that, we're looking pretty good. Now on the early morning hours on Saturday, some cloud cover moving in. You can see some precipitation showing up just to our northwest. That's why we had a, at one time a 30% chance of some showers in the forecast for Saturday. We've taken out that chance because we think most of that precipitation will stay to the north. The other story today will be the winds. This is right now, but as we advance into the future cast, the future wind here we have some colors showing up here from Mountain Home into the Magic Valley. The winds will start really kicking in. There's noontime and uh, they'll be a little bit stronger for this evening. And here is the windy zone from Mountain Home into the Twin Falls area, stretching into Burley in south central Idaho. Then they die down with a setting sun. Here's our forecast. Sunny and windy today with Twin Falls high 58 degrees. For Sun Valley, mostly sunny. Sun Valley's high about 50. And for McCall, a high of 49 degrees with partly cloudy skies, so a little bit more cloud cover further to the north. Meanwhile, here in the valley, will stay sunny with highs pretty close to 60 degrees. Overnight lows dipping down into the 30s for a few locations. Sunny but breezy for Boise and downright windy mountain home eastward. Here is our extended forecast, 65 on Thursday. And then on Friday, that will be our warmest day, the first day of spring and the day of the solar eclipse. And then... For Saturday, we took out that chance of rain. We're just going with breezy and cooler and a few more clouds. But still, that's above normal, even though it will be much cooler than Friday. Sunday looking pretty good. And then a chance of some showers again late Monday into Tuesday. That's the weather.